you believe that most VCs actually hurt companies, not help them. What do you mean by that? You know, applying traditional business school and business metrics to innovative startups is the wrong thing. And when people focus on IRRs and rates of return on boards, they actually hurt a company. I don't believe just because you're an investor, you earn the right to advise an entrepreneur by being a board member. If you're going to advise entrepreneurs, you should have started companies, known how hard and painful it is, how difficult the trade-offs are. Uh, it is painful being an entrepreneur. Life is not easy. And unless you have empathy for an entrepreneur by having done it yourself, you don't have the right to advise an entrepreneur, in my view. So one rule I have, in 30 years, I've never ever voted against an entrepreneur. They don't need hypocritical politeness from board members trying to be popular and be their friends and not help them think through all the risks they're going to face and challenge them. And then these same board members want to vote on things as if they know enough to vote. They don't. You also don't go to board meetings if you can help it. Mostly I don't go to board meetings because I can't <laughs> stand to listen to other VCs talk about things that I actually think hurt an entrepreneur. So what's your advice to CEOs and entrepreneurs about how to be a CEO and how to not be a CEO? So first, don't take advice because it's from the board. Just ignore the board to the maximum extent you can. But consider the input of people who have real experience as input to your thinking. 